Well, hi there. I want to show you a video today of a portrait of Daniel praying. Just the beginning part of the portrait process. I want to dive in and show you how I put a kind of warm tone, a ground over the entire canvas and then etched away using a rag. Just a little bit of a different approach. All right, roll the video. I start by adding a glaze of raw umber dark mixed with matte medium and I'm just basically blocking in the curtain and just keeping a wet edge. It's very important to apply with um, smooth strokes going vertically up and down in the direction of whatever object you're trying to fill and you can see how I use a very light touch at the end and then meet the second layer uh, with the first layer and I'm not going all the way into the top part but I'm just going part way into what I just did and then smoothing it all out and that's how you really get a smooth application of paint with the glazing technique and if you don't if you don't do that if you um, just try to paint it all in like you would opaque paint it's going to get very blotchy very quickly so it's it's very important then to use a very light touch at the end see how i'm just using vertical strokes only going upward and blending that in i turn the brush on its end to cut in and i don't overwork it it's not perfect, but you don't want to overwork it when it's setting up. Um, now I'm going into the background and filling that area in. I decided um, to actually go over pretty much the entire canvas. So I could have used a larger brush, but um, this is the brush I'm using and I'm just adding a little more matte medium um, and creating a larger amount of glaze as I fill in basically the whole area. I'm doing this painting a little more as a grisaille, not a true grisaille, but um, basically putting a background color, a ground over the entire canvas, covering everything um, from top to bottom. And you can see I've gone over everything, including the figure of Daniel praying, and I'm always trying to keep that wet edge. So I start basically from top to bottom, left to right, more or less. And you can see how I'm working that in using very light strokes towards the end to smooth that out. And um, working now into the figure, again, really brushing rapidly and not overworking it. And that's part of the technique when you're wanting to apply glazes with the glazing technique. A lot of my students struggle with that and it is a new way of painting. Um, but if you can really um, get that idea of painting with a wet edge, just like house painting, where you keep everything moving, it really helps. Now I didn't paint the window. That's where I left off because that's where a lot of light is going to be coming into um, into the painting and that's where the major light source is. So I didn't paint that part but the rest of the figure I covered and I'm just trying to smooth it out on the bottom edge and you can see everything has an overall pretty even application of paint there's a little bit of blotchiness but that's okay it's gonna get all smoothed out later on um, as we do more and more layers so the, the future layers will go in different directions and it'll tend to smooth everything out I'm just adding a few final touches, kind of looking over everything, making sure everything is smooth as possible. And there might be a little bit more to do, but right now I'm switching and I decided I'm going to cut away and wipe away some of this um, glaze that I put on there and get the highlighted areas um, by wiping away according to the reference photo. And you can see that in the Kindle I have next to my painting. Um, a lot of the light is hitting Daniel on the right side, and then there's folds of fabric. Hey, if you've enjoyed this lighter. video so far, would you help me out and give this video a thumbs up? 
Um, also, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to receive notifications for more videos like this, instructional videos on how to paint acrylic portraits, inspiration as an artist to seek God in your life. Uh, that's what this channel is all about. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel uh, to get more videos like this. All right, let's get back to the video. And now I'm wiping away on top of his face and just using the rag and also the brush to refine some of the areas that I'm wiping away. So just seeing the major highlights, where they fall, where it's illuminating um, on his face, on his clothing. And if you do it rapidly enough, you can still wipe away quite a bit. It takes a little while for that glaze to dry. So now I went through and wiped away all the different wrinkles on the clothing, on the hands, um, and I'm using the brush just to touch up a little bit. And uh, I think while I was painting, it was very humid at the time. It was kind of towards the beginning of summer here in Wisconsin. And so it was taking a little longer for the glaze to dry than what it would during winter. So I can't say that this um, technique is going to work in all climates or in all seasons. Um, but you can give it a go and see. I, I think it'll work best if you have a little bit of humidity. You could also spray mist your, your canvas to keep the, uh, the glaze a little bit more workable. Um, you have a window of opportunity of maybe five to ten minutes um, to be able to wipe away and uh, glaze in this way. So it just makes it a little easier to use a larger brush and brush over the entire surface and then wipe away instead of trying to um, cut in around everything. And I'm adding just the slightest glaze on the interior of the um, stone because that area is not quite as bright as the rest of it. So I'm adding a little bit of a glaze to differentiate between the stone and then the outside, which is going to be very bright in value. And that's the final step. And this, this glaze is a little lighter. It, it has more matte medium mixed into it. And so that's going to give it um, just a little bit of a, a lighter value. And you can do that by um, increasing your ratio of matte medium to pigment to something more like 90-95% medium and then 5-10% paint. I'm trying to see if I can wipe away on that flame and it's starting to dry at that point, but um, it's able to get a little bit, bit of it wiped away. Although it wasn't easy because it was already partially dry. And I figured, well, I'll just come back in with some white paint on top of it. Not a big deal. Well, anyway, that's how this finished up here. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All right, so take care and God bless. Also, also you can um, find more art tutorials at realisticacrylic.com and I'll be happy to help you out over there. All right, take care.